assalamu alaikum students as you know that we have completed unit number 9 now we are going to start unit number 12 the old woman the poet of this poem is joseph campbell the poet joseph campbell was born in 1906 in white plains new york he won name and fame as a writer poet and athlete as an athlete he was among the fastest half mile runners in the world his first published work was where the two came to their father the poem the old woman has been taken from his collection of poems he describes the old age of a woman the beauty of a woman vanishes and she looks like a white candle in her old age so that is the poem okay the first stanza is as a white candle in a holy place so is the beauty of an aged face okay these are the meanings from this stanza holy means sacred and aged mean old in this poem the poet compares an old woman with different things in the first stanza the poet is comparing the old woman to a white candle that the face of an aged woman is as beautiful as a white candle that is lit in a holy place in a sacred place in old age the beauty and the energy of woman vanish and she looks like a white candle which is near to die she spent a difficult life but but still she gives us holy light in this age she is to be taken care of and respected okay this stanza number 2 as the spent radiance of the winter sun so is a woman with her travail done these are the meanings from the second stanza spent mean used up radiance mean shine brightness travail mean effort hard work difficult work or you can say difficulties Okay in the second stanza the poet compares old woman to winter sun and old woman after doing hard labor and hard work and going through unpleasant experiences is as tired and exhausted as the winter sun that gives dim light she has lost her brightness like winter sun but she has gathered a wide experience of life she has become weak but she has she has gained rich experience of life her life is full of struggle and effort okay now the third stanza her brood gone from her and her thoughts as still as the waters under a ruined mill okay these are the meanings from the third stanza brood mean children ruin mean destroyed her children have left her alone they do not live with her but she has all the memories her thoughts are now as quiet and calm as the as the still and motionless water under the destroyed mill okay uh, this is the video of mill you can see how does it work water is very much important to run this wheel to keep on moving this wheel but like a ruined mill she now she is motionless she has no energies though her children are gone but she cannot forget them her thoughts are still like a ruined mill okay now come to glossary these are the words given in glossary radiance travail brood and ruin i have shortened uh, these meanings you can see i have marked there uh, a special uh, bright quality that shows in in somebody's face and travail mean an unpleasant experience or situation that involves a lot of hard work or you can say difficulties and suffering okay brood means a person's child or children and ruin mean 
destroyed. Okay, this exercise in page number 120, choose the correct option for statement number 1. Option B is correct. Similarly, for statement number 2, option A is correct. For statement number 3, option B is correct. For statement number 4, option A is correct. And statement number 5, option B is correct. Okay, uh, this is the exercise on page 122. This is grammar exercise. This is active and passive voice. Ex exercise A is sentences are given in the active voice. Change them into the passive voice. So before doing this exercise, we need to discuss the rules of uh, voices. So these are the five rules to change active into passive. The first rule is subject and object. They will replace with each other. Number two rule is use of helping verb according to tense. Rule number three is third form of verb. In the passive voices, you will always use third form of verb. No confusion in it, okay? Only third form of verb. Then rule number four, use of by. And rule number five, change of pronouns. Okay, as I told you that five rules are same in all passive voices, but you will use the helping verbs according to tense. So, just see, these helping verbs are given here according to tense. In present indefinite, is, am, are, in present continuous, is being, am being, are being, in present perfect, has been, have been. Okay, in past indefinite, was, were. In past continuous, was being, were being. In past perfect, had been. Okay, number one is, I have finished the job. The job has been finished by me. They built this house in 1990. The house was built by them in 1990. Okay, the number one is in present perfect you see the helping verbs has been number two is past indefinite so helping verb is was okay he has brought a new car a new car has been brought by them that was present perfect so the helping verb is has been i wrote a letter a letter was written by me they spent the they sent the parcel on monday the parcel was sent by them on monday the police caught the thief yesterday. The thief was caught by the police yesterday. She baked a cake. A cake was baked by her. I read a book. A book was, I read a book. A book was read by me. She gave me, she gave the beggar a five rupee coin. The beggar was given five rupee coin by her. Just see so, subject and object, they are replaced. Then second rule, that was the use of helping verb according to tense. Then the third rule was third form of verb. After that, addition of by and use of pronoun. Like I was changed into me, they was changed into them, he was changed into him. Clear? That was exercise A. Okay, come to exercise B. The question is that rewrite the following changing in the active sentences to passive and passive sentences to active. The thieves have been arrested by the police. The police have arrested the thieves. The marvelous performance delivered by the children enthralled us. We were enthralled by the marvelous performance by the children. You need to guess that. Is it in active or is it in passive? Those which sentences are in active wise, we will change in the passive. And those which are in passive, we will change into active. Number third is he has been invited to their party. They have invited him to their party. He has been invited to their party. It was in passive voice. So we have changed into active. They have invited him to their party. We have shipped your order. Your order has been shipped by us. The girl recited the poem beautifully. The poem was recited by the girl beautifully. The guest enjoyed the party. The party was enjoyed by, by the guest. 
the child impressed everyone with his polite manner everyone was impressed by the child with his polite manner a girl from banu won the first prize the first prize was won by a girl from banu the readers liked the latest book of the writer the latest book of the writer is liked by the readers so that was exercise of page 122 and our unit number 12 is completed now see you in next lecture thank you allah hafiz